ever wondered how to craft a cutting edge space haven? Picture this, starting with a trusted old space station. The International Space Station, ISS, might be entering its final act, but its grand finale could be the prologue to a dazzling future. Introducing the Axiom Station, is it a next generation space phenomenon, or is it ISS 2.0? The Ace Up Action Sleeve is the ability to erect their futuristic hub right atop the shoulders of the existing space giant. Imagine this. Action will be the exclusive private enterprise permitted to join their module to the ISS in 2026. And each year thereafter, Action will ferry in new modules until they've birthed an autonomous space sanctuary. It's like watching a fledgling bird leave its nest, only in this case the nest will gracefully re-enter Earth's atmosphere and make a brilliant exit in a blaze of glory. How did Axiom snag this golden opportunity? Here's the scoop. Axiom is like the beloved offspring of the private spaceflight arena. While most fledgling aerospace startups are led by ambitious young trailblazers set on revolutionizing outer space, Axiom takes a different approach. Look at their team roster and you'll spot seasoned experts at the helm. These aren't just any old timers, they're the architects of the ISS's past glory. Take Michael Suffredini, Axiom's head honcho, who masterminded the ISS's transformation from a jigsaw puzzle to a bustling orbital hub during his tenure at NASA. Then there's Dr. Cam Gaffarian, the co-founder, who once spearheaded NASA's formidable engineering services contractor team, responsible for astronaut training and ISS operations. The thread continues. Axiom's leadership reads like a reunion of NASA's finest minds, migrating to the private sector with an extraordinary mission, building a brand new space abode upon the shoulders of the very station they constructed two decades ago. It's an ode to experience, a nod to wisdom. After all, in the cosmic ballet of space exploration, experience is a priceless treasure, often overshadowed by youthful zeal. Yet, this facet of the tale remains a well-kept secret, rarely brought into the spotlight. What's truly thrilling about Axum's space endeavors is their remarkable progress. While other space station ideas are stuck in the virtual realm, Axum is already hard at work constructing their pioneering module for low Earth orbit. This puts them in a league of their own. Get ready for the Axum Have One, anticipated to launch around late 2025 or possibly in 2026. This module has a fantastic purpose, offering comfy living quarters for four crew members, along with extra space for nifty little research projects. Now let's talk comfort. Axum's crew quarters take the cosmic cake. They're like futuristic versions of those awesome Japanese capsule hotels. Imagine this, Private pods for each Axiom crew member, complete with touchscreen panels, LED lights, and personal windows that frame stunning Earth views. The genius behind this design is Philip Stark, a French architect with a vision as grand as the universe. Stark aimed to create a nest, a comfortable and friendly egg, which would feature materials and colors stemming from a fetal universe. Think a vibe straight out of Kubrick's Space Odyssey. But wait, there's more. Stark's innovative pods walls are sprinkled with hundreds of nano LEDs with changing colors as a continuation to the view of the universe through the large windows, just as all the shades of lights and colors of day and night. The egg will also live to the mood and biorhythm of its osmotic inhabitant. How cool is that? Now, picture this. Axiom's module linking up with the ISS Harmony module. This isn't just a temporary pit stop, it's a permanent addition to the space station, solidifying Axum's place among the stars. Next, we kick off with Axum HAB2, set to blast off just a year after HAB1. Picture this, it's like doubling the fun, as it expands the crew capacity to accommodate eight people in the Axum section of the ISS. But that's not all. This new module brings an independent life support system and a Canada Arm-style robotic manipulator into the mix. And there's more to come. Enter the Axiom Research and Manufacturing Facility. Imagine it gracefully docking to the side port of HAB2, 
creating an L-shaped configuration. What's the buzz? It's all about tapping into the unique microgravity playground of low Earth orbit. A space for groundbreaking research, cutting edge product development, process enhancements, and advanced manufacturing. Now, for an accessory that takes things to a whole new level, the Earth Observatory. Think of it as a glass dome with room for an entire person. This awe-inspiring feature attaches beneath HAB2, offering an almost 360-degree panoramic view of our beautiful planet and the wonders of outer space. But wait, we're not done yet. The Action Station's grand finale is the Power Thermal Module. This isn't just extra storage and payload space. It's the powerhouse that's tightly linked to Axum's dedicated solar panel array. Think of it as the energy hub that keeps the segment running and maintains the perfect climate inside. Now imagine this. With these four incredible modules and an ultra chick window, the Axum segment can detach from the main ISS and operate as a standalone space hub. So, Get ready to be amazed by NASA's Axiom, a hub of innovation, a window to the cosmos, and a symbol of limitless exploration. NASA is firmly backing the innovative Axiom space station concept, one of the top four commercial space station ideas in their roster. Financial support is being channeled not only to Axiom, but also to other key players like Blue Origin, Nanorax, and Northrop Grumman all aimed at enhancing low Earth orbit opportunities. What sets Axum apart is the incredible privilege of building upon the existing ISS framework, a testament to NASA's confidence in their vision. With the ISS approaching its twilight years and scheduled for decommissioning by 2030, NASA is keen on propelling the commercial space industry forward. This shift marks an exciting yet challenging phase as questions linger about newcomers like Blue Origin stepping into this uncharted territory. Axiom and NASA's bond runs deep, with Axiom essentially being an extension of NASA's expertise. Leveraging the know-how gained over the last decade, Axiom's team has transitioned from the public sector to the private, ensuring a seamless progression of their experience into the future. This partnership is rooted in shared goals, as Axiom collaborates closely with NASA to ensure their operations align with current ISS standards and regulations, while also charting a path for future advancements. This tight-knit collaboration between NASA and Axiom promises an exciting journey ahead in the ever-evolving realm of space exploration. Imagine being part of the pioneering adventure that Axiom embarked on by becoming the very first private company to send private citizens to the International Space Station, ISS. In April 2021, aboard Ax-1, they made history, and their journey continued in May of the following year with AX-2, an eight-day privately funded escapade to the ISS. To achieve this remarkable feat, Axiom partnered with SpaceX utilizing their cutting-edge crew Dragon vehicle and Falcon 9 rocket. But who were these trailblazers exploring the cosmos, and what was their mission up there? Axiom ensured that their space tourists weren't just passive observers. The team included an experienced NASA astronaut, Michael Lopez, who served as the mission commander. Alongside him were three paying customers, Larry Connor, a real estate entrepreneur, Mark Pathy, a Canadian investment CEO, and Etten Stib, an Israeli investor. They each invested a hopping $55 million for their spot. During their time in space, they weren't lounging around. They were hard at work completing 25 research experiments developed for microgravity, as well as several pre- and post-flight experiments tailored to their interests and philanthropic goals. X2 brought an even more diverse group including John Schaffner, a wealthy race car driver with dreams of piloting a spaceship, and Ali al Karni and Rihanna Barnawi, members of the Saudi Space Commission. These private missions are remarkably inclusive, helping to expand international access to outer space. A truly inspiring endeavor. And here's the intriguing part. Action isn't just creating unforgettable memories for their customers. They're also learning valuable insights. By observing the impact of space life on everyday individuals, they're delving into uncharted territories. 
Sure, astronauts are the cream of the crop, the best of the best. But what happens when regular folks journey into space? It's a captivating question that Action is boldly answering. They're turning these adventures into scientific opportunities, understanding how different human bodies react to the challenges of space and finding ways to combat its effects. After all, Action's vision isn't just about continuing the legacy of the ISS. It's about being the first ever space hotel. That massive window. It's not just for show. It's there to tantalize billionaires into experiencing the breathtaking view for themselves. Get ready to explore the universe like never before with Action. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated on new discoveries and updates.